All right, so we're going to Yachtville to pick up some cookies. You just drove, I don't know, 30 minutes to get some cookies. Who are the cookies for? Many of the men in the family. Why only men? Why not the women? Because most of them don't want to eat sweets. Why don't women eat sweets? They feel like it's going to cause them to gain weight. Why is that a bad thing? Is it? I don't know. I'm asking you. It's not. All right, as you see, she's uh, put her daughter, aka slave, in line. Hey, look, we're talking to you, Karis. How do you feel standing in line for an hour? It's been like two minutes. It's been, it's been that long that you forget how long it really is. We're at the uh, bakery Bouchon. It's a tradition for many years to come and get Christmas gifts from the Bouchon Bakery. Why Bouchon? Because it was started by Thomas Keller, and he has the highest star restaurant in the state of California. Uh, and you and heard Kenya. this news at Wikipedia, or who told you this? You can look on the internet. Oh, you just look. Did you look on you the first tab after chefs, you Google? And you can talk to chefs. I've talked about three or four different chefs about it too. What's their name? Normally costs. What's their name? Eugene is one. There's another one at Jerry, who's in Providence, Rhode Island. Those are two of the latest ones I've talked to. So that was two. You just said four. There was four. I don't remember the name. I think the best cookies are served at Safeway, behind the camera. Five dollar box? Yes, the sugar cookies, the ones that they used to give out for free. I'll get you All right, so I won't get you any um, cookies this year from here. I'll just pass them on to someone else and get you the five dollar box from Safeway. Oh, aren't you so slick? You know I'm going to eat these cookies anyways. I eat all cookies. I don't care if it doesn't even have my name on it. When you say don't eat the cookies, it makes me eat the cookies faster. Technology hating on my. What she about to buy, Karis? Nigga, buy anything? You gonna wait in line and not buy nothing? I didn't come for this. What'd you come for? Mom. Hey, man. $78 on some cookies. Big ballin'. $78.50 on some cookies. $78.25. You better eat those cookies up. How many cookies you better eat? They're not for me. You're not gonna eat no cookies. But you're her daughter, though. Action, I think. I just ate all your cookies. What are you going to do? Get in the car. We're going to the public market. Oh, okay. Why are we going to the public market? Ma said she was going to buy some bread. Who's she buying bread for? I don't know. We're now at the bread factory where my mom buys bread. Um, Back in the 1950s, my mom was just in the bread line during the, you know, different wars like Vietnam. So just being around bread makes you feel comfortable. So we just saw Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and uh, there were 16 rebels left. And I guarantee you, by the next movie, there's going to be 500. I don't know where they're going to come from, but they're going to be there. Guess I got to get to casting new rebels. Rebel extras, so we can have some more rebels. They're just gonna, you know, populate the earth in about, I don't know, two hours. Watch this. I'm telling you, Disney Channel sucks. So, mom, what are we dropping off cards for? Let me see the cards. That's a lot of cards. This is paper stacks. All right, so we're going to the post office in Vallejo. My mom hates the post office in Vallejo because there's long lines and disorderly conduct because Vallejo, home of the ratchets. I hope anybody from Vallejo doesn't see this video that I'm recording. It's my mom, dropping off Christmas cards. She just looking at the camera. Oh! Look at that, right here. Zoom in. Look at that. You gotta get the shoes walking and stuff. So they're doing documentaries. Stuff, you know, my mom's up to it. She's not buying anything. She 
just gonna sample. Like she's gonna treat it like it's Costco. There's a whole bunch of like rich, you know, okay stuff. Eat breadcrumbs, that's all. So. Look at her, she's right over there. She's looking for a free sample. Look at her. It looks like almost like the Grinch who stole Christmas. Waiting to steal some presents, but she's about to steal some samples. It's kind of a tradition, man. You gotta get the free samples. Mama said I'm going to jail. Satan said I'm learning so well. Pastor said I'm going to hell. Well, when I go, please send me some mail. I'ma need some pack anthrax, bloody tan packs to use hand axe. Press that. My favorite painter. It's Jesus Christ in the flesh, right there. It's white Jesus. Over here at Collier Chocolates. Did you try the chocolate? Did you let me try the chocolate? No, thank you. No, I just want to try the chocolate. No, thank you. What's wrong with Milk and Perry? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Pizzeria. Most of you don't know, I have my own pizzeria. It's the original Young Camel Toe. He made new moves out of, you know, just the scratch of his labor and the flower from his field. It's a great man, man. It's the original Young Camel Toe and the young uh, Mrs. Young Camel Toe. Now, you know, this is a very lovely place. You know, I like to keep it clean. My pizza's always smacking. Leonardo off the Ninja Turtle, always eight years. Stop, you guys are stealing food. Stop stealing food from the Italian food place. It's not good to steal. You guys are Grinches who stole Christmas and never gave it back. How does that make you feel? Great. I didn't even have to ask for it. about these ginormous diabetes meatballs right here. Diabetes? Diabetes meatballs in the house. It's your boy, Young E. Eating potatoes right now. I had some eggs two days ago. My mom bought some eggs, some expired eggs from Costco two days ago. I ate two of the eggs and I threw up. I don't ever throw up off of food, so it was crazy. So now I was telling my mom that I don't want to have eggs for like a month. She's saying, I'm sorry, and I bought some bad eggs. I think it's good. Every once in a while, you should throw up on food. It just reminds you that there is bad food out there and you should be careful. And I'm like, you know, nothing bad with a good lesson. You know, I learned my lesson. I'm not eating eggs for, you know, a month or whatever. Shouts out to the chickens. But, she just reminded me of a story of when I made a birthday cake and it was horrible. She threw up on the birthday cake, but I also had Rubio's for my birthday. So after eating the birthday cake and the Rubio's, she threw it up and she wasn't able to eat Rubio's for a few months. Why didn't you eat the cake? Because you put flour in the frosting. And then my stomach said no more. And I still don't know what you put in that birthday cake. Flour in the frosting. No, it had to have more than flour because it did look like a cake. What did you put in there, Manuel? It's been many years. You can tell the truth. Uh, in that cake, I put a lot of sugar. There's a lot of sugar in that cake because I just, you know, wanted to see how far I put the sugar envelope. Um, but I put in the regular ingredients. I think I put in some cinnamon, too. And uh, just a lot of sugar. I uh, might have put too much flour in it because I was trying to like get the consistency right, but it came out wrong. Uh, but everything else was cool. I baked it. I baked it. I ate the cake. I didn't throw up. Other people ate the cake. They didn't throw up. No one else ate it. Nobody ate the cake. <laughs> no, I was the only one that ate the cake. The only one. I don't, I don't why don't I remember? I you ate did, the cake. You did not. I ate the cake. I did eat the cake. I was eating the cake when I was baking the cake. So we're going to go see Star Wars now. Hopefully. She says, hopefully. Why Why is it only hopefully? Because there's a lot of people who wants to see this show. And it's half an hour before the show starts, not an hour. 
See, I come from a Christian family, and a Christian family, we believe. We put faith into everything we do. So I have faith in Jesus that we are going to be able to see this movie. What about you, Karis? Eventually, yeah. What do you mean by eventually? Might be 11.30, might be 1 o'clock. Might be the 3 o'clock. Okay, but we can all agree that we're going to see the movie. Maybe. You know, but we have a better chance seeing it in Vallejo than we would if we were going to Pleasanton or Walnut Creek or Concord. Why is that or so? Fairfield. so many because so many people have gotten their cars stolen at the Vallejo lot that they don't <laughs> go there anymore. This Say, car is one. Wait, this Two car years got. years ago, right I, before Thanksgiving, the Monday before Thanksgiving, it was stolen when Karen went to see the Hunger Games. Games. So this car was stolen when you went to see the Hunger Games. Yep. Yes. And how did you get it back? It took the five police. days. The police found it in Vallejo. And the person had left a whole string of keys in the car of all the cars, of tons of cars. And they had one that fit this Honda in it. So you're saying you found the key bandit? Yep. Yeah. He found, there was probably about 30 keys on that. The radio was gone. The car was fine. But a lot of people still cars to move from one place to another in Malaya. Mm -hmm. They don't have their own car. So, Karis, we're about to see this movie Star Wars. What are you excited to see in this movie? The movie. All right. What about you, Mom? What are you excited to see in the Star Wars? Well, this is my second time seeing it. I saw it last Friday at 9.40 when it first came out. It was very exciting. So now I'm just, maybe a few of the words that I couldn't quite catch, I'll be able to understand better and see more of the themes. So I understand the plot and the subplots and the character development and see how the characters grow and develop and how some get more wicked. I'm excited to see Darth Vader's son, or grandson, or whoever that white dude is with the lightsaber that's red. You'll I, see him. I want to see him mess up everybody, you know? Because the bad guys are always the best in the movie. I've been saying that ever since Cruella DeVille and 100 Dalmatians. The bad guys are always more interesting. Their psychology is cool. Their character arc is always a blast. And then you know they're going to die in the end. So it's more... It's like playing a video game on expert mode. You know you're probably going to lose, but you're going to root for yourself anyways. Darth Vader's grandson, man. I want to see you cut up some dudes. I, I want to see you be ruthless. Take no. No is always the answer, okay? You tell everybody no. You destroy all the planets you can. You take over planet Earth because humans ain't nothing anyways. We, we out here voting for people like Donald Trump. So go ahead. Destroy Earth. You'd be doing the universe a favor. 